There are four ways to spend money. The first way is to spend your own money on yourself, where you want the best quality product, but at the best possible price. The second way is spending your own money on someone else, where you're concerned about the price, of course, because you're paying for it, and so long as it looks okay, quality isn't quite as important. The third way is spending someone else's money on yourself, where you want fantastic quality, but you don't really care about the price because someone else is paying for it. The fourth way is spending someone else's money on someone else. You don't care about the quality and you don't really care about the price. Well, friends, the fourth way is how government spends your money every day. It's why taxpayer dollars and cents are wasted every day of the year. There's the cost overruns where millions are lost, but no one is ever held to account. Say when the government changed the rules for how child support is calculated and collected, the rule change was supposed to save taxpayers 26 million, but the costs of the software to implement the change blew out, not just by a few million, but by a whopping 163 million. It's 100 bucks for every New Zealand household with not a single dollar of it going to vulnerable kids or struggling families. There's also the silly spending, say when the Department of Conservation transported a dead turtle around the country until finally flying it via helicopter in a custom-built coffin to a hilltop in order to hold a funeral for it. Taxpayers shelled out more than 12 grand for this ridiculousness, even flying members of the board, yes, the board of Te Papa, to the ceremony. There's that time Rusunua Lakes District Council spent 90 grand importing five tons of mud from South Korea for a mud festival, apparently to promote Rotorua. Who knew there was a shortage of mud in Rotorua? But what's worse, to save face, instead of cancelling the spending, the mayor doubled down, claiming that the costs would be offset by ticket sales to the mud event. But the festival flopped, resulting in a $570,000 loss for local ratepayers. Turn on your TV and you'll see the waste there too. The $197 million spent by Waka Kautahi on its Road to Zero information campaign. Not only is that more than $100 per Kiwi household taken in taxes, but it's also $197 million not being spent on making our roads safer. Speaking of zero, there's that goat cull in the Hanua Ranges Auckland Council arranged a few years back. That cost local ratepayers more than 91 grand. But when asked how many goats were actually culled, we got the answer, zero. There's that time Auckland Transport spent four million to build the Greyland Cycleway, but did such a bad job, they're now spending upwards of 35 million just to fix it. And that's despite barely anyone turning up to actually use the thing. Sometimes government agencies worry that if they don't spend the money they've been allocated, their budgets will be cut next year. What else would explain the Film Commission's decision to give the American producers of the kids' show Power Rangers $1.6 million of our money just to include reference to a New Zealand pavlova in one of its episodes? <laughs> also creaming it is Rod Stewart, who has funded $918,000 by Tourism New Zealand for a single performance of his hit song, Sailing during the America's Cup. So Rod did not appear in person or even cross live. The performance was pre-recorded on a barge in London and lip synced. How is that a good deal for taxpayers? Right now, the government spending makes up about 42% of the whole New Zealand economy. And thanks to COVID, that number's growing. Of course, not everything the government spends our money on is bad. We want good quality schools, roads, hospitals, and of course a safety net when people land on hard times. But history tells us that societies with slimmer, more efficient and accountable governments tend to be more successful overall. And maybe that's because the more money you have to spend on yourself results in better decisions, less waste and more accountability. 
That's why I'm a fiscal conservative and why I believe that until the politicians can look you in the eye and say that every single dollar spent by them is being spent well, it's not fair to dig deeper and deeper into your family's pockets every time they want to promise something else to buy votes with your money. I'm Jordan Williams, Executive Director of the Taxpayers' Union for The Common Room. To see more videos like this, subscribe at commonroomnz.com.